have a driving license? Yes, I do. I always keep it in my purse. Why should people obey traffic regulations? To protect themselves and others. Did you have a happy childhood? Yes, I did. I enjoyed playing hide and seek with my peers. Did you experience your childhood in a city or a countryside? I spent my childhood in a rural area where I could see washed rice fields. Did you usually skip class when you were a child? Yes, I did and many of my friends did too. Who were you with when you were a child? I was with my beloved family. What did you want to be when you were a child? I dreamed of being a fashion designer. Who did you love the most when you were a child? I loved my mom the most, most since she was always there and took care of me. Who was your childhood hero? Robin Hood. He took money from the rich and gave it to the poor. Did you change a lot when you grew up? Yes, of course. I am more mature now both physically and mentally. Why is childhood important? Because it shapes people into who they will become. How many rooms are there in your house? There are six rooms, a living room, two bedrooms, a bathroom and a kitchen. Which floor is your bedroom on? My bedroom is on the first floor of a three-story house. Is it big or small? It's not very spacious, just enough to put necessary furniture in. What color is your bedroom painted? It is painted pink, my favorite color. Do you love your room? I love it very and much why? because it is my private space whenever I go home. What furniture does your bedroom contain? It contains a bed, a desk and a clothing closet. What do you do in it? Well, I spend most of my free time there reading books and sleeping. How much time do you spend in your room? About 10 hours a day, especially in the evening. Do you share your room with anyone else? No. Everyone in my family has their own room, so I stay there alone. What kind of presents are popular in your country? Depends on the receivers. For children, toys are the best choice. Who gave presents to you on what occasions? I have received many presents, most of which were from my friends. They gave me gifts on my birthday. What was your last present? It was a handmade doll given by my best friends when I moved to another city. What was the one you like best? I loved my book Nepal a lot. It was given to me on my 23rd birthday by my brother. Did you ever get a present you returned like? Yes, I have, but I still treasure and take care of them. How do you thank people who gave you presents? I gave them presents that they would like. What are the times of your year that people give presents in your country? Some special occasions are birthdays, wedding, uh, graduation, New York, New Year's Day, Valentine's Day, housewarming, ceremonies, etc. Who was the last person you gave a present to? My mom. I bought her a coat on a business trip to Bangkok. Is giving presents important in daily life? Yes, it is. It is one of the best ways to show your love and gratitude to someone. Which tourist attraction do you prefer when traveling? Historical place or natural landmarks? Well, historical places are always my first choice when traveling. What do you usually do when visiting historical place, places? I usually listen to the tour guide introducing to the sites and take notes about important historical events. Can you name some historical places you have visited? Whenever I travel to a foreign country, I always visit its famous historical places. Some of them are the pyramids in Egypt, Angkor Wat in uh, Cambodia, Stonehenge in England, and the Taj Mahal in India. What's your most favorite historical place and why? I love the pyramids the most. Taking a tour around the pyramids, I can not only enjoy the glorious, but also learn culture and historical values of the ancient Egyptian culture. What is the most famous historical place in your country? It's definitely the Statue of Liberty in New York City. What's special about it? The statue was gifted by the people of France.
it is a symbol of freedom for the us as well as welcoming site to people coming to the us from another country where it is located it is located on the liberty island in new york airport y and yc should the youth visit historical places sure nowadays the youth should visit these kind of places more often in order to preserve historical and cultural values of their country what are the benefits of reading a newspaper or magazine paper magazines can uh, broaden your mind about thousands of things without the need of to travel i read it every day what's the best time of read the newspaper i think the best time is in the morning when you start a new day what type of magazines do you usually read i usually read politics and fashion magazines I also enjoy reading about culture and tourism. What's your favorite magazine? My favorite is the New York Times which writes about all sort of things. Businesses, sports, movies, travel, books, job, education and real estate. Do you read the paper or online news? I prefer online news to save money. How much does it cost you to buy paper newspaper per month? I only buy a monthly newspaper so it doesn't cost much money around $5 a month. What is the most popular magazine in your country? I think it would be Forbes magazine a leading source of reliable business news and financial information. How many events have you joined this year? What uh, what were they about? I have joined more than 10 events so far most of which were about education. What was your most memorable event? The most memorable for me was an international study tour in which I was introduced to some famous universities in Europe to study overseas. Was it organized indoor or outdoor? It was an indoor event. Who sponsored the event? The event organizer was the education department of American Center. But the universities introduced in the conference were the ones who paid. Who went to the event with you? I went there with my friends who shared the same interest in studying abroad as me. What were some performances in the event? There were not many performances. Each university representative just had a speech to introduce their school to student, and then they hosted Q and A session. Was the event shown on TV? The event was not uh, arrived, but there was television advertisements for it. Taking advantage of social media, it is a smart way to promote an event.